Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on this eye look right here. A subscriber asked if I could do one for um, beginners in makeup that are getting used to color. So I did this soft look. It's almost pretty much natural, but I did use a color on the lid. So I really hope you enjoy this video. I hope this video is helpful to the subscriber who asked. And um, anybody else, if you have any requests, leave them down below. And I will be sure to do them. And yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So now we're with the eyes. So the first thing we're going to do is prime them and just excuse all the concealer and powder I have on. I'm actually baking right now. Stay. So we're just going to go in and just prime our eyes. This is the um, Maybelline Concealer in Deep. And I don't like to um, drag my eyes, so I like to pat it because the constant tugging and stuff on your eye is not good. And that can give you like early wrinkles and crow's feet and stuff. So I just pat and blend it in. And now I'm just going to take my e.l.f. professional bronzing brush and I'm going to take this translucent powder, dip it in twice, and then I'm going to set my eyes. Like so, it's very important to always set your eye just so you have no creasing, especially because we're using concealer. And also don't skip this step if you are oily, so. So we are prime set and ready to go. So corny, I know. So I'm just going to um brush them out like so. And I'm going to take my e.l.f. um coffee eyeliner and I'm just going to shade them in a little bit. And this piece of hair is bothering me, so I'm just gonna tweeze it real quick. And I'm just going to shade in this other side really lightly. I'm not really into the bold brow. So we're going to go in and tight line. This is just a black eyeliner. And tight lighting just really helps open the eye and make it appear bigger. And it also just gives you a thicker um, upper lash line, which is really good if you have like sparse eyelashes or you don't wear falsies going to give that illusion. So I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. bronzer. I absolutely love this. I'm going to use this as my transition shade today. Um, you always want your um, transition shade a couple, um, you want it, You just want it to be really close to your skin tone. This is a little darker, but um, I don't mind. I'm just going to rock that back and forth in my crease. And I'm using my e.l.f. Um, blending brush. I got these from Target. I love elf brushes. And this bronzer has like a subtle hint of sparkle, so it's going to look really cute when the sun hits it. So that could be too much. So don't worry, if you're a little older, it's still going to look nice. And uh, I don't know how it's showing up on camera, but you can like barely see it, but that's okay. That's what we want because it's just a transition shade. It's just going to help us blend. And then I'm just going to take this cool brown shade right here. I'm going to rock that in my crease right over. Now, when you're going in for colors for the first time, you want it to be subtle. You don't want it to be bold. So just ease your way into it. And I'm just going to put this right on top. I love this brown shade. These two browns mixed together are so nice. It just creates a cool tone brown that's really beneficial for any skin tone. So I'm going to do a very, very subtle lead color, which um, I hope you guys like. I'm going to be using Dusty Rose from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Um, I'm not sure if this palette is still available. I'll try and link it down below. They're also sold as single, so you can still get your hands on it. I'm going to take this little um, e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush, which um, I really love. I'm just going to pick up just a little bit. Just like that. Hit some off, and then I'm going to start packing it on the lid. And then just build it up to your liking is our lid color so you really want to just carve it out on your lid and don't worry we'll blend because we don't want a harsh line but just make sure it's covering your whole lid and just carve your lid out like so and now I'm going to take this blending brush that came with the palette by Anastasia and with no product on it I'm just going to blend these together because you do not want a harsh line you want to blend 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 now this part is optional. I always like to put color on my lower lash line. So if you're a beginner for color on the lid, totally fine. You can skip this step. But um, if you guys have been here for a while, you know that this chocolate color from the e.l.f. Essential Eyeshadow Palette is my absolute favorite. So I'm just going to take that and just put that on the end of my eye. I'm not going to bring it in. I'm going to stop right there. And 
and I just dip my brush back into the Anastasia palette and I'm just gonna fill it in on the rest of my lower lash line I just ever since I've started putting something on my lower lash line I need to do it every day when I wear makeup now for a brow bone highlight. Lately, I've been into doing concealer under my brows just because it looks really natural. I take the small brush from the other side of the Anastasia brush that I used to um, highlight with powder with, and then I take just a little bit of my concealer, tap it with the brush, and then I go in and highlight under my brow. I like to bring it all the way over. For beginners with um, color eyeshadow, I'm just going to assume that you're just a beginner to makeup so you don't want to do like the full like winged liner and stuff like that. I'm not doing that today. I'm not a fan of liner either. I am going to pop on lashes, which I have a lot of makeup tutorials using them, so I'll link a couple down below. But I'm going to pop my lashes on and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is the final eye look. Lashes are All right, on. guys, so I am back. I have put on my lashes and a little mascara to the bottom. I also did my face and everything. I just did a video on my highlighting contour routine, so I'm going to leave that link down below so you guys can watch it. But now we are going to move on to the lips. I'm going to line my lips with the um, Jordana Easy Lip Liner in Baby Berry, I believe. Yep, Baby Berry. And then I'm going to dab on Bear It All by Wet n Wild. And then I will put on Ruby Kisses, this pink clear gloss on top. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a really, uh, like really, today's video is going to do, to, 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 uh.